understanding, though, of the need to develop angles and not come straight down the middle. Although that left hand landed for Pacquiao and maybe hurt Floyd Mayweather. On March 25th at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, in a fight promoted by premier boxing champions, Undefeated former two-time WBC super middleweight champion David El Bandera Roja Benavides and former IBF super middleweight champion Caleb Plant will square off in a high-stakes, 12-round fight to put an end to their ongoing feud. In an effort to establish themselves as the next dominant force in their division, super middleweights Benavides and Plant will bring their verbal battle of many years into the ring. Both have held reigns at 168 pounds as champions, and as they compete for Benavidez's interim WBC super middleweight title, both are keen to reclaim the top spot in the weight class. Unbeaten former two-time WBC super middleweight champion David El Bandera Roja Benavidez and former IBF super middleweight champion Caleb Plant will square off in a high stakes. 12-round fight on Saturday, March 25th, at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, in a fight presented by premier boxing champions. The bout will air live on Showtime pay-per-view. Benavides and Plant will carry their verbal battle into the ring, as they compete to become the next dominant force in the super middleweight division. As they compete for Benavides' interim WBC super middleweight title, both have held reigns as the weight class's champions and are hungry to do it again. According to Tom Brown, president of TGB Promotions, David Benavides vs. Caleb Plant will witness two fighters in the prime of their careers take on the biggest challenge they can as they aim to leave no doubt about their legacy in the ring. While Benavides is renowned for his strength and Plant for his unmatched boxing skill, both have recently demonstrated their capacity as all-around fighters. The MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas will host this Showtime pay-per-view event on March 25th that you simply must miss. Samson Lukowicz of Samson Boxing remarked, In our industry, sometimes people believe it's bad blood to sell a fight. I personally guarantee that this fight will be incredible and that there will be genuine bad blood between the parties. Avoid missing it. According to Steven Espinoza, President, Sports and Event Programming, Showtime Networks Incorporated, this is one of the biggest and possibly most explosive fights that can be made in boxing, not just in the super middleweight division. It pits two fighters at the peak of their athletic primes, both with prodigious skill sets and contrasting styles, and both of whom take great pride in the way they perform. It's an intriguing match, and it's impossible to anticipate what will happen. We have a volatile, 50 50 its matchup and probable bout of the year contender. When you combine that with their true dislike for one another, as we unveil our 2023 itinerary, Showtime is honored to present this occasion and highlight yet another exciting and noteworthy primary event. When he fought Ronald Gavril by split decision for the vacant WBC title on Showtime in 2017, the 25-year-old Benavides, 26-0, 23-KOs, became the youngest ever 168-pound world champion. Benavides, a native of Phoenix who currently resides and trains near Seattle, has cemented his position in the super middleweight division, with both fists capable of knocking opponents out and by becoming more ring savvy with each bout. When he was 15 years old, Benavides went from weighing 250 pounds to becoming a boxing prodigy, under the watchful eye of his father and trainer Jose Sr., as well as his brother and seasoned fighter Jose Jr. Benavides is well known for holding his own in sparring matches against middleweight champions Gennady Golovkin and Peter Quillen. Benavides is coming into his battle with Plant, riding a streak of six straight knockout wins. Most recently, he stopped former champion David Lemieux in a decisive third round in May. Benavides said, I can't wait until they put me in the ring with him, so I can beat his ass. Boxing enthusiasts will have a terrific night with this. I can't wait to enter there and deliver everyone with the beating they came for. Plant 22-1, 13 KOs, won Anthony Durrell in his most recent fight, and won the Knockout of the Year award for 2022, CBS Sports Boxing Scene thanks to his impressive boxing abilities. Plant has advanced to the status of world champion. Plant defeated Durrell in one punch during his maiden match under new trainer Stephen Edwards in October, putting an end to their intense rivalry. 
and providing one of 2022's most dramatic finishes. The 30-year-old plant, who was born in Nashville, Tennessee, and currently resides in Las Vegas, captured the IBF championship in 2019 after outlasting Jose Iscadegui in a competitive unanimous decision. Plant defeated Iscadegui in the second and fourth rounds, before winning the championship with ease. He had three successful title defenses, taking out Mike Lee and Vincent Fajenbitz through TKO, in addition to defeating former champion Caleb Truax via unanimous decision. He defeated Durrell to set up this eagerly awaited showdown with Benavides, but ultimately lost the belt in an undisputed championship match against Canelo Alvarez in November 2021. Alvarez was occasionally frustrated by his fluid boxing skills. I made it known that I intended to pursue the greatest fight that might occur in the division after I knocked out Durrell, according to Plant. I'm back here to prove to the world why I'm one of boxing's top draws in one of the most eagerly awaited bouts. I feel focused and sharp. On March 25th, I am excited to demonstrate who the superior man is in addition to providing the fans with what they've been waiting for. This is Boxing Sports Zone. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos and updates. Thank you.